Hi, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com, and I've got an interesting product to show you from Other World Computing. Their website is MacSales.com. What this is is a SSD upgrade for your MacBook Air. And believe it or not, it's uh, just this little thing. looks like a piece of memory, a stick of memory for a desktop computer. But what it does is it expands the capacity of your MacBook Air hard drive. It also promises to add some more speed. Uh, in the package comes this little thing. As I said, this is the SSD. Um, we'll open that in just a second. But you get a couple of tools that you're going to need in order to pry open the, uh, the bottom of the MacBook Air. Inside it, we haven't even opened it yet. We're wanting to start off and uh, show the whole thing to you from start to finish. So it's easy enough to pull open. Here is the... Uh, actual drive itself inside. Unfortunately one of the problems that Apple has is the most storage you can get in a MacBook Air is 256, mega, 256 gigabytes of storage space. With the OWC drive upgrade this is going to give us 480 gigabytes of storage space. So in other words uh, about almost twice as much and of course, uh, OWC also promises a few other things. They promise that um, you're going to get uh, about 68% faster uh, hard drive uh, sp or speed. Uh, you get more storage, obviously. And they also have a few other different um, little add-ons that we'll talk about in the written review of this. But uh, <clears throat> it's hard to believe that that's the whole thing right there. Again, you have the silicon wafers on the bottom, some more on the top, and of course the circuit board here that keeps it all running, and the tiny little connectors that will connect inside. Now what we're about to do here is something that uh, you know you really shouldn't do unless you know what you're doing, and that is we're going to pop the bottom off our MacBook Air and actually pop this thing in. Now I've upgraded hard drives and memory in laptop computers for years and years now, so I feel fairly comfortable doing this, but if you don't, maybe the best thing would be to take this to a computer, a local computer shop, and let them put it in for you. Um, that's one possibility. I, I'm sure there's other ways that you can get it in there, but uh, again, be very careful doing this. And you have to understand, this very well may void your warranty uh, with, uh, with Apple. We're not 100% sure of that. But we're going to check it out here, and we'll show you what it's like to open this thing up. Now this is the very first time that we have taken the lid off of the MacBook Air in the package with the uh, OWC storage drive update. You get two tools that come with it that's included in the price. Now as I said this is not a cheap option. This is the largest of the uh, options that they have, the largest of the drives that they have. Um, and it costs right now fifteen hundred dollars and seventy nine fifteen hundred and seventy nine dollars uh, almost sixteen hundred dollars for this thing and so that's uh, like we said not a very cheap option so you have these two uh, drivers now this is the Phillips head drive uh, screwdriver and you use it to remove the Phillips head screws now I, what I forgot to do and I'm about to do is get my tape out. Now what we do, this is a little trick that we have learned. You take a piece of uh, clear packing tape or some duct tape, you fold over one side of it so that the sticky part is up. You need to fold over the very edges. And then what you can do is put your screws on there. That way you don't have to worry about them uh, being brushed off onto the floor while you're working. Alright, so now that we've got all the screws taken out, uh, the best way to get this off is to just grab here next to the vent. And as you pull it off, you look here at the uh, computer. Notice I've got a little dust and dirt in here. We'll clean that out in just a second. It's interesting to look at the MacBook Air on the inside. Uh, it's almost all battery in there. Uh, very little of it is the actual computer, but that's uh, uh, this part right here. And um, 
Now what we're looking for is the hard drive, uh, or the, the SSD drive that we'll be replacing. And here it is right on the top. And so that should be fairly easy to get at. Now the good news is they give you a, a little mini Torx screwdriver. <laughs> be careful to use the correct one. I was just trying to unscrew it with the Phillips head screwdriver because it's so small my eyes it was hard to see. But I pulled that off put that on our tape and it comes out fairly easily uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking to be quite honest with you pulling that out but it uh, comes out of there without a whole lot of difficulty and now we just need to very carefully Get it in there snugly. Alright, and that feels like it is in there. Now it's a good idea to put the screw that held the drive in place back in. So we'll do that. Now unless you're replacing this drive because it's broken, make certain you protect it by just putting it in the old, in the packaging for the new drive. And very likely you could sell this on eBay or something like that to um, help defray the cost of the new drive.